Assalamu alaikum to all the listeners. I am Ms. Namra here to teach you about tenses. And as we have done in our last lecture about present tenses, so here we will discuss in our this lecture about past indefinite tense. Hope you all are fine. So let's start our today's lecture, which is of past indefinite tense. Let's have the definition of past indefinite tense. Past tense shows that an action was taken place in the past time. It means the action which was done in the past time, that is past indefinite tense. The helping verb of past indefinite tense is just one and only that is did, which is used in negative interrogative and negative plus interrogative sentences. And the action verb form will be the second form of verb, which we also call past form. And the Urdu expressions will be karta tha, karti thi, karte thi. Let's move our next slide, which is about syntax. Here we have syntax of past indefinite tense. First is the positive one in which we have subject, second form of verb, and then object. In the negative structure we have subject, did, then not, and first form of verb, and after first form of verb we have object. Why we have first form in the negative sentences? Because after subject we have did, which is the second form of do. Though it is a helping verb here, but we cannot deny this saying that yes, this is the second form of do. So there isn't any need to write again second form of any action verb. Let's move towards the interrogative structure that is did plus subject plus first form of verb and then object with the question mark. The negative plus interrogative structure, we have did, subject, not, first form of verb, object, and then we have question mark. These are all five structure, sorry, four structure of past and definite terms. Let's have examples of all these uh, four structures. Okay, I delivered presentation on conditional sentences in my last class. This is the example of positive sentence. Here we have subject, then second form of verb, then we have object. In the next structure, we have negative example. I did not deliver presentation on conditional sentences in my last class. Next we have, did I deliver presentation on conditional sentences in my last class? The last structure is of negative plus interrogative sentence. Did I not deliver presentation on conditional sentences in my last class? These are the examples. Let's have some usage of past indefinite tense. The first one is the same one which we have done before in our definition for the action that has happened at, a, at the specific time in the past. For the action that has happened at the specific time in the past. So for that situation we use past indefinite. Let's have examples. Last Sunday I baked pizza. Last Sunday I baked pizza. Here we have a specific time and in that specific time I did something. So this is the first example of the first usage of past indefinite. Another example is, we watched a horror movie last night. So here, 
We again have a specific time, which is last night, and this time is in past. So this shows that, yes, this is again the example of the first usage of past indefinite time. Let's have the second one. Here we have a second situation, or let's say usage of past indefinite, which is event that happened in the past time, but not now. So we are talking about that event, which was there in the past time, but not right now. That is done. So for example, I lived in a hotel for one month. So here, we lived in a hotel in the past time, just for the one month. So that is not the reality or right now. The second one is, he played with cricket team when he was in Pakistan. So he played cricket team in his past time when he was in Pakistan. Uh, he, he lived in Pakistan, so in, in those days, he was used to do this task, or let's say this play. Let's have the third usage of past indefinite times. Here it is. Habitual or repeated action in the past time. So whenever we talk about those things, which we had in the past time, or we were used to do those situations, those things or those actions in that situation, we have past indefinite things. For example, I loved to eat chocolate in my childhood. So when I was uh, maybe five or seven years old, so I loved to eat chocolate, but not right now. Now I love to eat um, what we can say, ice cream, let's say. Now the second example is, Miss Sarah narrated stories to the learners. So Miss Sarah was used to narrate the stories to the learners, so in that situation we can also use past indefinite tense. Because these both examples are shown that yes, here the action is in the past, which was the habitual action or repeated action of a person. Here is an ending of our today's session. It's time to assign you some tasks. So your homework is to write a paragraph on your past time, repeated action, or about any event in which you were. So it is your task. So thank you so much for 